You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. A smell of gas reported hours before a Bel Air home exploded, yet no gas leak was found. These are just some of the details in a preliminary report from the National Transportation Safety Board. That home exploded last month, killing the owner, a BGE worker, and injuring another. Now, according to the report, the house lost electricity the night before, and a crew was out there to turn the power back on. However, neighbors called BGE the night before to report the odor of gas. No leak was found. Another worker smelled gas just minutes before the explosion. Now, the cause of the investigation is explosion, rather, is still under investigation. The NTSB is looking at several things, including BGE construction practices, pipeline safety, and its process of responding to odor complaints. In a statement, a BGE spokesperson says the company remains committed to the integrity of their system and have done several things to enhance procedures, and that includes refresher safety trainings and increased oversight of emergency calls from customers. Thousands of dead fish are resurfacing at the Inner Harbor. This is what it looked like down there Wednesday morning. The Waterfront Partnership of Baltimore says that there is nothing to worry about. The fish kill is from a pistachio tide, which happens every fall in Baltimore. It's caused when it's hot during the day but gets cold at night. The temperature swings bring sulfur bacteria from the bay's floor to the surface, which kills the fish. Well, file federal and state tax returns online for free. The next tax season, that's going to be an option for everyone filing in Maryland. Comptroller Brooke Learman announced the state will participate in the IRS direct file program. It launched last year, but only as a pilot program. The agency says that it was a success with more than 140,000 people using it without issue. According to the IRS, People spend 13 hours and $270 just to file their taxes every year. We'll work in some clouds over the next day or two. That's Thursday into Friday. This is ahead of our next weather maker. Still some dry time until then. Saturday looks to be the more active day of the week. I think we'll get some isolated showers Friday evening. Back to 79 Saturday, mid 70s on Sunday, near 80 by the time we get to Monday. Next week has mainly sunny skies and heat slowly building. About 85 by the time we get to Wednesday. Temperatures feeling a little more like summer by then. Kelly? All right, stick with us online at WMER2news.com. All day we'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store.